Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Shamil Gaziev versus Martin Boudet. And how I feel about this one right here is um, I'm going Shamil Gaziev, low confidence to beat Martin Boudet. I feel like, um, yeah, this is definitely a not confident at all pick, to be honest. Because Shamil Gaziev, in that little bit of fight he had in his contender series, he was gassed after like two minutes. You know, he hurt his opponent. He allowed his opponent to take his back. You know, some good, some, well, not good, some things you don't like to see. But it's just a dice roll here. Guess, guess what from Shamil Gaziev here. I don't feel like Martin Boudet is the most amazing fighter either, but I definitely would say I like what I've seen from him more. But all he really is at the end of the day, or what he has shown to be at the end of the day at this level, is to be a low-level um, wall install merchant. That's what he has shown to be at this level. A wall install, low-level wall install merchant. Got to put an asterisk there. He's not, just a, um, he's not just a wall install merchant. He's a low-level wall install merchant. You know, it seems he seems to struggle with that wall install style when the guys, you know, similar in size or similar in weight, maybe, or typically size and stature. And, like, to, um, even when it's not even got that good... I forget the guy's name, but he fought him to a split decision. I feel like he arguably lost. But anyway, like he was able to, like pretty much try to wall install fighters and not really super high output um, typically. And typically looks just, just blanket his fighters against the cage and just wear them out against the cage. That's typically what he wants to do. And start, um, Shamil Gaziev is similar in size, might be even bigger. They're both 6'4, but I feel like Gaziev might look a little bit bigger in the cage. I think Gaziev has the, the bigger striking threat. It's just that big question mark with his cardio. So I have concerns there, but I feel like he'll be able to dress the um, cardio in this fight. And I think he'll be landing heavy shots. I think he gets um, Boudet out of there in the second round. So I think he's going to be, he'll do a good job of not getting wall installed. Also landing shots as um, Boudet tries to force a clinch, probably ducking his head, trying to come in there, getting tagged with shots coming in and hurt, and then getting spun off and getting tagged up. And I, yeah, I think um, Godzip's going to address the cardio in this fight. And I think he'll do a good job of not being wall installed. And yeah, I just think he's the more lethal striker. And I guess I'm not gonna say more lethal finisher, but I'm gonna say he has the heavier hands in this one. And I think again, I think the biggest question mark, I think he'll and also I think that Wall Stall style is necessarily the the best thing for fatiguing a fighter. It's a good thing for keeping him in his cage, maybe. But maybe with a smaller guy, you could lean on him, and then it's good for wearing him now. But I think with his way he does it, I don't think it really is like, oh, this is such a exhausting style. It's not like he's really threatening takedowns the whole time. It's not like he's really bringing knees up to your body, hitting you with little tricky little elbows. It's like everything he does is like limited and predictable and very basic. So it's not like it's a, such a fatigue. Kind of like he all, you know, head pressure. No, like he's not doing nothing that's going to really make you fatigue. It's not a fatiguing type of, again, low low level wall install merchant. It's not a high level wall install that somebody put you against cage and then you get off the cage like, damn, where my injury go? I was exhausted. That person was kneeing me in the body, punched me in the kneecap, trying to, you know, get as close as they could to punch me in the ball without punching me in the ball, punch me in the inner thigh. And there's like a bunch of annoying stuff, foot stomps and trips, constantly tripping and constantly trying to just snap heads and like, just like uh, an annoying style. Is like, again, very low level. It's like, he don't got none of those extra perks or extra. He didn't put the V-Bucks in to get the extra stuff that comes with the wall stall. So he's, again, a low-level wall stall merch. So, yeah, I talked more than I should for this prediction, but I think Gossier should be able to address it. And I think he'll be able to continue to land clean shots as um, Boudet tries to force the clinches and be able to disengage. And uh, eventually, I feel like he's going to land a clean shot, hurt him, and finish him in the second round. So in this one, I have Shamil Gaziev via second round TKO.